and welcome back to some more Smite 2. Today we are playing Hikate in the middle lane. It's something like that. I got close this time. I got to hear her say her name in the god screen, so I learned a little something. It's pretty much about what I thought it was. Somebody might be like, man, that's not technically exactly accurate with the direct way that she pronounces her name in the voice pack. I don't give a shit. I don't, that's as good as you get, man. That is as good as you get. Be happy about it. I know most people don't care. Some people care way too much. Uh, <laughs> I have legit, because that used to be an item, I have gotten shit over that for legitimately like three years. I am not ready to go back to it, man. I will yell at every bozo that, that, that gives me shit about it. Every single one. So, one thing we can already kind of interact with a little bit. Um, see, if he wants to come to this, we could probably split it. It's probably kind of optimal. And then hypothetically, he could take it himself, but don't, it's rude. And so that's my take on red buff here. Hypothetically, Thana could get it, but I would like a red buff since we can do the double thing. I also probably shouldn't be tanking this. Yoink. Okay, I don't think he tried to yoink it anyways. Uh, we might actually miss a lot of minions. I haven't gotten to play mid yet, so I wanted to try it out, see how that felt. And it feels like we missed literally every minion. Not a good way to split. Um, we either should have let him solo it, or he should have done his camps, and we should have found a more opportune time for it. Unfortunate. Oh, he's going to fling some poo at me, huh? That seems to be his thing. Okay, we got some decent damage back. I don't think we're dying here, right? I mean, health pots are OP, so of course not. What am I saying, man? Of course we're not dying here. We did get very bopped by the 1v2. Morrigan is level 3 because she has farmed better because she didn't just go bot mode on her red buff like I did. I really thought that we'd be able to, like, get that done quicker. That it'd be less bad. Bro thinks he is so sneaky, man. Really thinks he's just the sneakiest little guy. I should have gotten my 3. I'm being dumb. My three is actually good. I kind of, I was looking at Morrigan and I kind of forgot that like my, my three is not Morrigan three. Like actually straight up. That was kind of my brain process is if I'm Morrigan here, I don't want the three, but our three does like way more. Although I mean, Invis is pretty cool too. To be fair. So Hecate is kind of a support style mage. She's a bit of a weirdo. Um, I do want to say, while I think her ultimate is cool, I'm a little bit scared for it because I do think it is very directly Horus ult, but better. I think it's very hard to argue against it. Now, it is sort of range. Um, I think it's a weird concept for an ability to put in the game because so much of what it does is Horus ult's exact thing, but also being just straight up stronger. Um, where it's like your team can move more around it than they can with Horus ult. And then also you're getting a more valuable actual like landing than Horus ult would get. Um, and then you're also just kind of duplicating one of Smite's most unique abilities. So like personally, in a way, not a big fan of it because of that. I don't think we're going to do a whole lot here. Yeah, we're not going to do a whole lot. She does also have speed buffs, so she is an unbelievably zoomy girl right now. I think he's chilling. I'm out of pot, so I got to be chilling a little bit. Oh, I'm getting bonked by that thing, man. It's just smacking my little cheeks. All right, we get ult kind of soon. I'm assuming Morrigan gets it a little bit earlier. Like, she has backed and I haven't, but I did scuff that second wave pretty hard. Actually, we, I think we get it right here, yeah? I didn't hit her, that's too bad. I can't tell, is she actually... No, I'm just getting baited by decoy. I Like, originally I knew that was decoy, but it was laughing? And that's not a thing in Smite 1, so I was like, wait a minute, did she just run alongside it? No. <laughs> I got so baited for a second, man. I didn't know they gave it sound effects like that. Okay, we can just, uh... Like, we're chilling. That is, that is Morrigan ult down. Did not know they have a Hades, by the way. Probably good to learn that. That is a nightmare character. I don't think, unless I missed it, I don't think he really got very nerfed. I think Hades ult is still going to ruin lives. Combat Blink will be pretty decent against it, though. Uh-oh. Did not think she would rotate on over. That's too bad. I feel kind of bad, man. I should have called something. I just didn't think she'd rotate. I thought she was just pathing around. Oh, that is actually you, you weirdo. I don't think I'm capable of killing her here, whether we land the two or not. Yeah, again, we're kind of a support style mage. Um, she's very, like, I'm trying to think, is there a very good comparison? Is he just not going to land? Brother, what are we doing, man? 
Oh, he actually did get cooked. Thank God. There's crazy delay on our ultimate. Um, so I was trying to predict him and then he got a little weird there. He started turning for a sec. So I thought the predict wouldn't work, but it just worked out anyways, I guess. I'm really surprised she didn't stop her back to try and kill me there. All right, let's go actually get our gem of focus. This might be a little bit nightmare game. They have a lot of OP characters. Ironically, not Morrigan who we're against, um, but having played Thana and then them having Hades and then her also being able to ult into Hades, I am a little bit scared. And then also, I don't think Akate is that much of a... Uh, I think she's going to be very strong overall. I don't think she's going to feel great as a I am making plays on my own character at all. I think she's going to feel pretty weak for that. Her damage is very inherently limited. Um, her CC is mostly limited. Like, her ult's capable of CCing really hard, but it's like such a big team fight type CC, not like 1v1 fight type CC. So she's going to be a little bit tricky because of that. I think we go try and grab our red buff here. If we can get that that speed buff, bro, what is happening to mid timers, man? Or not mid timers, to jungle timers. I've seen that in a bunch of my games so far where it's, uh, it'll be like, okay, it's spawning kind of soon. And it's like, oh, it's just up. <laughs> it'll be up in like 30 seconds, not just up. Uh, I am giving up wave. If he's down, we can fight. You down to go in, man? I've got combat blink here. Okay, we might just be dead. He did clean up the uh, the Thana at least. I don't know where Morrigan's at, and I kind of want to yoink farm because I'm the greediest man ever. Oh, I missed the ult. That's too bad. Oh, we got him. Morrigan's in mid. We're chilling. Yeah, I probably tried to... Uh, I don't remember exactly where I aimed it. I think I led the ult a little bit, and that was probably kind of dumb. I probably should have just chucked it directly on him, but maybe I did. Maybe just moved out of it. I think we go Chronos Pennant. Um, so I think realistically for build, we probably want some some he some health in this, like some defense, some HP, something. But I think we're just gonna build our mage because I think that'll sort of be more fun. But I do think she's gonna be somebody that genuinely does feel like a very unique support style pick. Um, or kind of almost like an Aphrodite mid-style pick, where it's like she's either going to be pretty different feeling mid or pretty different feeling support. I don't think there's any role where she's going to like fit in to the typical gods you play, you know? Morrigan with speed buffs got to be nightmare material, man. With these with these stacking buffs. Wait, did I? What the hell? Oh, I did hit her. <laughs> I got baited by decoy man there. I was like, wait, what am I ticking on? I was ticking her in invis. That's so funky. Uh, by the way, we do have a uh, a unique... Wait, I hit her! Right? Oh. Yeah, OP Thanatos, man. OP ass Thanatos. Get in there. Get in there, brother! I might have scuffed this. Wait, what the fuck? Did he blink? Or am I getting baited by my own ultimate? The read! That was kind of a crazy read. I had to put that so far ahead of him. I think she's got timing kind of like... Uh, this is such a bizarre ability for me to reference, especially because I don't play the character. But I think her her one timing is kind of like... um, Kind of like Hera too, I think. Okay, I do maybe just get cooked if she ults here. I'm not sure there's much for me to do about it. She did not ult there, though. She might run it around, but I don't think she gets here in time. It looks like she's not. Nice. Bro, I keep... This is such a bait. I don't know if it's actually happened in a video yet. Um, there's this thing right now where it'll click as if you are as if you buy the item successfully. I don't know what the deal is because I'm in Fountain when I buy it there. But it like doesn't actually buy it. And you got to make sure you actually buy it. It's so obnoxious. Also, move this over. Stop being scuffed! She's probably going left. Especially they don't have a tower there. Okay, I think we just go to red buff. Because left lane's just kind of chilling up there. I have to run through so many different things. Is he going to actually yoink this red buff? Oh, he's just still on it. Bro, his farm is so low. It's kind of a weird spot now for, for jungle buffs. I feel like it'd be really easy to get mad at people yoinking buffs. Um, But you can also like argue that it's good to stack buffs. Like, it's going to be a little funky. I, I I like them messing with this. I think it's a fun idea. I think it's probably too toxic for its own good. Um, can't tell where real her is, because that's the decoy. 
Oh, found it. <laughs> I was just going to hit the decoy. <laughs> That's funny, man. Okay, you know what? We're going to cook like... Oh, I try to do too much. Yeah, the reeds have to be so absurd with this ult when we're against anybody that moves like that. And we have no reason for them to like either be auto attacking to slow themselves or just BCC'd. It is, uh, it is tricky. And you can see that. I, I put it way too fucking far hoping to land that. I think we just shouldn't ult it to begin with, though. Attack. Get her! Didn't think she'd run towards me, you crazy girl. What in the hell, man? Thought that would land. Nice, decent little impale. Give him one of these. It's supposed to speed you up, but I don't know how the speed works. Like it says in the ability description that you get move speed out of the three, which you can give to people, by the way. An another reason for it to be a little bit more of a support style character. All right, it's, it's fun item time. That's not the stat. This is the stat. Bing! The hell does this do? Oh, Prost Shred. That's actually not bad. This is some pretty cheap health, too. This actually is not a terrible item. Because tank stats are kind of hard to come by for the most part in Smite 2 so far. Don't worry. Once we get our tank dev on the team, right now, the high res's lone tank dev is currently on Smite 1. I swear, we'll, we'll get some... I actually just flicked it too far. That is tragic. I was gonna wait. Oh, hang on. We denied him. We denied him. That's still some something. Don't do it, Bozo. Yeah, that's funny, man. I <laughs> I legit was gonna ult him on the gold on the gold shrine just because I thought that actually might be a uh, like he might get caught sleeping on it. We could one shot him, and I legit just flicked it a mile. You have got to be kidding me. Yeah, I think it mostly. I tried to extend it to what I thought its max range was, and I think it just reaches farther than I thought it does. I kind of want to make my way right. Now, what is my ult cooldown, man? I know, uh... Actually, no, I was going to say I know I've got a lot of cooldown. I don't even have that much. That is crazy. On my way. I'll get oh, is he just dead? He's just dead. That's too bad. He almost got out. I will not yoink his blue buff, but we will try and do a little something to Hades here. Is he paying any attention? Okay, he does now. Like, it was super obvious that I was here. Don't get me wrong. Bro, my two went off so late there. You gotta be kidding me. Let's see if we ever get to kill him someday. Oh, yeah, we do. We do get to kill him. Hang on. We can pour it on over? Bro, imagine if we could ult on over. That would be real wild. Hang on, hang on. Mama's coming. That's too bad. Juked! Juked! Juked? <laughs> Bro, this ult takes so long, man. I think I'm trying to make too many, like, legitimate plays with it, and I need to just be, like, a support. I need to, like, Horus ult with it, you know? Like, I think I want to cook way too... She hurts. Cook way too hard. There's also a Morgan coming in this tower. is about to die. No way she dies. She actually died. <laughs> I was too afraid of Morrigan to go for the one there. I just figured we'd, we'd max range that. If she'll eat this, never mind. I think we're chilling though. Thank God we had the uh, the Soul Devourer to finish her off there. There's a chance she lives from the Impale not connecting. I wouldn't have been too mad about it though. Because he was also kind of peeling for me there. All right, fun item time. I have not yet built this item. I have built it in a jungle practice to see how it works. This item is even crazier than I expected it to be because it says short dash, but it is not a short dash. Come on, buy the item. I think we can sell these. Uh, and then let's get more intelligence. Always good to be smart, right, guys? Always good to be smart. And let's fix our stupid build. <laughs> I can't remember. They might have said something about there being a setting to kind of do this. And I haven't looked at that, so maybe that's in the game and I'm and I'm tripping. There's a way to make that less annoying. I guess we probably don't need to be yoinking farms since this guy's got so little farm. I don't know what the deal is, man. How many people playing Smite 2 do not play Conquest or something? Unless they're just AFKing more than I realize. I keep seeing people be like half of the level and seemingly playing the whole time and not even necessarily feeding their brains out. Like, I legit don't get it. Oh, my ult didn't go off there. Hang on. Okay, apparently we just don't. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Baby teleport. 
Hang on. Beep! I thought you could do that. Okay. Good that I tested that, man. Good that I tested that. I thought you could just port back and forth and just break the shit out of the game. But I guess not. That does balance the ult a little more. Yeah, we did just kid dump on top of each other. I think if I'm a little less farmed, and if I have no boys, and I have no blink like I did, then I do think we're just dying there. But that doesn't really mean a whole lot. At least we should be able to clean it up. You've got to be kidding me. You have... Please be dead. Thank you. By the way, I thought that was actual Thana at first. Did not realize at first it was Morgan Duncan on, on in there. Yeah, our damage is like kind of good and kind of potato at the same time. Doesn't it feel weird? Like we're also getting so little wave clear stands out. Hang on, I think we're going to do the thing here. I think it's actually going to be fun as hell. <laughs> oh my god, I dunked on him, man. Wait, she got so far there. What the hell? Oh, no, 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 please. Nice. Yeah, so that was... We did it kind of close range. You guys might have to slow-mo it if you want the full effect. Hang on, I think we kill her someday. I think we're killing her someday. I need a... You gotta be kidding me. A gem of focus. Oh, she might goof with her pathing here. Not quite. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, we're greeting till the end of time, man. Just barely clipped her. I feel like I clipped her by so little the game like didn't want to give it to me, you know? I was like, but did you hit her? To be fair, I, I wasn't sure. I thought it might be out of range. Alright. Does my two get stuck in the wall? I think it got stuck in the wall there. That's something they should change if it does. That'd be annoying. Get this, get an ult more often. Even though the ults have been kind of scuffed. Yeah, very much a team fight style ult. Um, so with the sheer chaos of smite two, like matchmaking plus us just like not being queued up with people, like her ult's probably not gonna feel good yet. It might feel fun, but it's probably not gonna feel good yet. But it is very much an ultimate where like if you're playing with friends, if you're grouped up, if you want to make some crazy plays, it's probably gonna be genuinely stupid. It'll just be straight up Horus, but better. Which again, I'm not a fan of it being Horus, but better. Like, I feel kind of bad for Horus that this is getting added to the game. Not that he's in Smite 2 yet, but, like, obviously he will be. Unless they're planning on taking it off of Horus, which would make it way, way better. What are we doing, lady? Oh, I should go Polly, by the way. I think Polly might be kind of crazy on me. Give my boy some stuff here. Let's see how crazy we get in, lady. I think this is a good ult. Seems like it. Where the hell'd she go? Bro, I keep... Okay. No, I need to read this. They keep teleporting on it. And I'm, like, not thinking that's a thing. I teleport them back to me? Bro, I... Okay. Okay. I have learned... How has it taken me this long to, like, realize this? I didn't realize that they automatically get displaced, and it's based on which side you're hitting. So if you ult on yourself, you can ult them away. That's pretty, that's pretty cheeky, man. That is so cheeky. It's such a bizarre ability to work with. Where it's like, you're stunning, so you're getting set up. Unless I'm tripping, I've had, to, part, part of what I think is throwing me is I'm pretty sure I've had stuff where if we're following it up quick enough, we can follow up off of our own CC before the displacement. So it's kind of a weird inability where it's like, you can, you can juke yourself or like help yourself, I think. I just kind of wanted to not be dead and not have to blink, so I thought we'd try that out. But then Hades got scared. I really thought he'd go for the ult there. See if we can farm up for poly money here. Don't take it. To be fair, I don't think he's gonna, but I got I got a little worried. Thought the man might yoink my buff. It's kind of funny that is it Soul Devourer? Yeah, Soul Devourer is just like straight up better red buff. Okay, they're trying to do dirty things to me. You guys aren't doing shit. Simmer down. Simmer down! Yeah, double Morgan ult plus Than ult right there. Try and ping her out a little bit. Whatever. She's running right lane. They'll be fine. Let me get my camp. We might get to clean it up. Let's see, does he get greedy here? 
Of course, that wasn't actually her. Oh, that's not... What am I doing? Okay, I think we just get run down because Thana passives OP. Actually, we're not next. Are we an execute? I am an execute. I think. I can't tell if I'm seeing red buff or his passive. Maybe I'm seeing red buff. Yeah, it kind of... <laughs> it's funny. At certain angles right now, it's looking like what Thana passive might look like. I don't know what his actually looks like right now when you get the execute indicator. Oh my god, man. That's so funny. I actually cosmetic jumped? Because in my mind, I'm like, I gotta get ready to cosmetic jump for the ult in order to get myself out of here. Absolute bot mode. Alright. Uh, Let's see here. What the hell? Polly. Yeah. By the way, I know this is insanely late. Um, I'll, I'll hover all the abilities if anybody's curious. R1, we get two forms. They're similar, but they kind of do a different thing each time. So one will CC, one will do bonus damage. Um, R2, I feel like, has kind of been kind of obvious. It's quite a bit like Heim 1. Um, but we can charge it up a little bit like Esettle. So, like, there's kind of a big area that, that's also similar range to Heim 1 where you can, like, charge up the damage on it. A lot of the time, we're not going to try and charge up the damage on it. Um, hypothetically, it's capable of being really good, but it's going to take so much to do it that a lot of times it's not going to be worth see, do we get to do anything here? I think we might. Our three, I feel like, is kind of self-explanatory at this point. Hang on, this actually might get crazy. Bro, I don't understand this button. <laughs> I don't know, maybe she immuned it? Maybe she immuned it. Hang on, I might get a kill here. It's getting a little greedy. What? One, go off! That's our Thana ult. I, I don't understand this button. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe people are throwing me off with immunes. But maybe I just still don't actually get it. He's up, huh? Does he one shot? Yes. That's too bad. Chocolate would have gone very hard right there. I don't know why he didn't pop it. I do think we just straight up get a live if we get the peel there. So that's a little unfortunate. If I'm remembering right, he also got ult back after that fight going as long as it did. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Did he cancel the one? I think he knew better. That's too bad. Doesn't quite get it. Should have gone the based Soul Devourer build, where you just continue to build the OP item that, like, technically got nerfed, but is still broken. But is still just simply OP. Bro, I totally forgot we have this active item, man. I've been so distracted playing Hikate because she's just a literal new god. I've been having fun with that. We could have we could have used that item so well there. I just forgot I even had it, man. I'm like down an item in this build because I wanted to mess with it. Too busy having fun with new character. All right, let's get Helmet Darkness too. Let's get another item I'll forget about. It's always a good idea, right? I think there have been spots where we can apply passive to people too that I haven't that I haven't bothered with. That's going to be super easy to forget. That's such a weird thing. You have a passive that you can, like, give to towers slash people. And the tower thing's not going to be relevant until we get Siege on, which we really haven't been getting Siege on, at least while we're around. Um, but... But yeah, if we can give it to other people, that'll make it way more valuable. Which they have to, like, get a kill for. Alright, so Hades ult here, we should be able to just queue out. But I think he's just dying. We also have Polly now. I was forgetting about that, too. Oh, he's going to put in some work. If I can, uh, hang on. Let me try and see. This would be neat. Hang on. Little something. Nope. Little peel here would be nice. We kill him. <laughs> Let's go, man. They got absolutely cooked right there. They're really getting so sweaty with me, and they need to stop. They're getting kind of clowned on, man. They want to dumpster me so bad. It is not happening, bozos. I got to rename my Steam to, to Quiet Bozo. We just have the stupid mass name. That's not fun. We need the good Bozo name. I might get murdered by Hades. 
No clue where he is. He could go do it. Wait, one foot in Hades? What the? What sort of kink are we? <laughs> what are we getting into, lady? We have a foot, a whole foot in him? I actually don't know what lore she's from. I might have just misheard what she said. What she said. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's a different lore or not. By the way, one thing I've forgotten to say literally this entire time, we are just going to be building combat blink in this, this play test. Um, especially since this is temporarily just a one day flash test and not even a full play test. We're only building combat blink. It's just more fun. Um, like these are not serious games. Maybe if I somehow had a team that was like such pain that I really felt like I needed beads. I don't think that team really exists. Because I think those spots where you're getting CC'd that hard that you need beads, you can almost always just blink out of an advance. And then you just, like, it's kind of better than beads. Um, so, we're going to be building that. You can actually swap mid-game between relics. It'll keep the cooldown. It's not going to be, unless it's bugged. It'll keep the cooldown. Give the boy a shield. Get to zoom in, man. Get to zoom in. Yeah, okay. So that time he did TP. Polly, please. Yeah, he's too zoomy. That's too bad. Just too zoomy of a boy. Nice. They did get to clapping. Actually, we should maybe do fire. We don't have our on her, though. Oh, I gave him... I think I gave him passive there. I think I just fat fingered for it, to be quite honest. Oh, here we go. Uh, How pain is this? Yeah, that's fun. Can I move while I do it? I don't think I can. <laughs> Hi, Rez. Let's fix that up. <laughs> oh, did I? Did he get it? I don't know. Maybe I ran out of time to do it. I can't even tell. Let's see. Do I poly off the... Oh, I poly off the first proc of the two. That's actually kind of huge. Get off of my boy, man. My olden pop. That is unfortunate. And it would be nice to go back if we could here. But we have this. What did he do to me? What is he building? What the fuck is he? Okay, he is building absolute full damage. Maybe I did just get nuked. Yeah, I used the uh, the Q. I used the boar thing. I was like, all right, like we'll be okay. But I got deleted way too fast. This man's just straight up impaling. He's impaling for distance. Yeah, let me move this over, by the way, so we actually remember it. Nice. Okay, I think we maybe should be dipping. Okay, Soul did not do... Is she building strength? She's building strength. That did so little damage. I wonder if we go hastened... I'm cooking too hard here. If we go hastened Hikate... Um, for one thing, it sounds like it could be some bizarre hybrid item that Smite would have added at some point. But for another thing, if we go hastened Hikate, I think we get so much mobility, she might be kind of a menace. Like, I'm sort of picturing her turning into E-Shell. Um, like, permanent E-Shell passive or some shit. Might be kind of crazy, man. I'm reading this ult again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what's throwing me is sometimes people are muting it and sometimes they aren't. So, <laughs> so sometimes they're getting teleported back and sometimes sometimes they just stay in place. And it's, it's so tricky to follow up on because of that. Because I'm using it for damage. I'm really not trying to use it for uh, mobility that much. And not for, like, the team have this for reasons. All right. Anybody feel like ganking us? I kind of want to helmet darkness on somebody, but yeah. Yeah. This word's going to spot like nothing. Okay. I'll let Thana have it. I was eyeing it something fierce, but I'll let him have it. Oh, I got that, huh? Wait, we get so many perks there. Gold Fury number two is kind of cracked. On her was I in that, wasn't he? Ooh. Yeah. I don't think this is actually that good of a call, but I'm here for it. We are invis. We TP in late. We have cooked. We have cooked. Oh. I'm trying to save my blink way too hard, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I got ping dipped. 
I actually was about to clown on that man so hard and I just got wrecked by server. <laughs> That's too bad. Really was gonna hit him with the back bait. That is tragic. The beautiful thing is we're getting the we're getting the blink sound effect whenever I whenever I'm calling ping diff on the blink, so I actually can get like straight up proof. Cause you can literally hear it go off and then it doesn't actually go off. I get like uh like it's not pure cope, you know? Like I got a little extra something for myself. This game's so chaotic, man. I am getting so hunted by the like that fight was a little different, but by the double Thana. It's been wild. That fight Morrigan actually went on somebody else, so we had a little more of a chance. Wait, can I just buy this right now? I don't have to buy it when we spawn. Okay, I think we might stop trying to queue for distance, because so far I feel like I'm baiting myself with it. <laughs> so far it's not getting me out of very much. I think we'll start queuing in. Ooh, I want to go on him here. I'm kind of zooming. Hang on. Hang on, I am fucking zooming! Nah, come here! Nah! Big read! Oh, he just ulted. Okay, well that was soft. Don't go on me, you crazy man. He was thinking about it. He didn't even land very far away. He really wanted it. He really wanted to do that. Our cooldowns are so short now. I guess have they been short? I guess they haven't gotten that much shorter. Somehow they feel shorter to me. I would like, thank you. I keep worrying about getting these red buffs and I keep getting them every time. Alright, let's actually sentry this maybe just in case they get sneaky with it. The fire giant. Oh, hello! Which way did you go? Maybe she went that way. That's a big chunk. I don't even want to actually do fire. I just want to. I just want to group people up. Got him. You know what? Let's get in there. Let's just get the fuck in there. I didn't realize uh, how many people we hit. I thought there were more people over here. I just teleported them backwards, and it got weird. Polyd. Polyd. Oh, I have my Q back up. Shit. That's too bad. Thana wrapped his way all the way around. Did he get a... Never mind. I thought he got a double execute. He got no executes. <laughs> Bro, Thana is so broken in this, man. I don't even know how much of it's him being OP. It's probably partially that, because Hyra is really to just give him 15% bonus damage on his two and be like, this is okay. Surely Thana needs this. Um. By the way, I do have a minor rework for Thana that is, like, I think way more interesting than what they did and still small, that I think would be way more satisfying. Which I can maybe slightly touch on right here, actually. Like, we'll probably talk, do, like, a video about it at some point. Um, because what they did is they basically just put him in the game as Thanatos, and then just buffed the shit out of his two as if it wasn't already strong. Um, so, like, I think that's kind of lame. But, for, for what I was thinking, it was going to be a really small thing to just change his playstyle up a little bit, which was going to be make his one based off of current health and not max health, so that if they're high HP, um, you get more damage. If they're low HP, you get less damage, and it makes it less of an execute ability and more of, like, if you hit it from range, you get more reward ability. So I think that would inherently be more interesting. Where it's just like, okay, you know, like, normally when you learn Thanatos, when you, like, see somebody that actually knows how to play Thanatos, you start realizing, oh, why, why is my dumbass even bothering to land the one at range in so many circumstances when I can just go up auto-cancel and one-shot them? And that makes him less interesting as a character. So if you de-incentivize that, where, like, every auto-cancel, every bit of damage he's doing nerfs the damage of his one, I wanted to ult there, but, uh, it didn't go off. I think it got stuck in the wall. Didn't get the ult I wanted. Uh, okay. There might have been a little more than I realized to what was going on. Uh-oh. I am definitely dead here. We are literally getting hunted by the, by the entirety of their team while on her split pushes and backs, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay. It's just a focus Akate angle, huh? Yeah, there's... <laughs> There are zero th more things we gotta do about that, man. Lag balls on the engage. Worst possible time for the server to shit the bed. And then just get hunted by the entirety of their team. So, 
Yeah. And then Honor split pushed mid, but then like didn't actually do anything in mid. I don't know what the point in that was. It would be nice if he just actually team fight, but it's it's smite two matches. We're gonna get all sorts of nonsense. It just kinda is what it is. It's crazy that I've gone like 15 and 5. Because to begin with, she's not the type of character to be doing that. And then I have been so hard focused. I don't know how I've managed it. Aside from constantly losing track of where the hell people get ulted to, I feel like we've actually been pretty clean on this character. Nice little cleanup. Oh, that's rough. I feel his pain right there, too. It's actually. It's so awkward he mirror walling up close and not trying to wall behind you. It's actually something they should improve if they can. It's it's pretty painful to try and get it to go where you want it to. I have been sold on! I was hoping we could just get the ult damage there to kill her. Because I don't think we got to run up into Soul's face considering how much I ate without running all the way into her face. I am so fucking slow right now. What? <laughs> What happened to my move speed from the last invis, man? I don't think we're really reaching here. I think I'm just baiting myself to death. Hit him with a have fun? To indicate that we're not going to keep going on that? Because I'm going to get run at hard. By the way, I'm seeing Hades DC. I don't know how recent that was. It might have been forever ago. It kind of doesn't matter that much because their team just had better players to begin with, I feel like. But, but that is going to be hurting him a bit. God, can I yoink speed? It's so tempting. I feel like it's actually so good on me. But I think we got to leave it up for Thana. Bro, I keep wanting my ult to go off and it's getting stuck in walls and it's bugging me. Polly. Two. Hang on, we should be able to kill him in a sec. Did I actually give him passive there? I don't know what the deal with the passive is. Like, can I give it to him now? And he's gonna run away, bro. Why have we put it in this state? I should not have to have him sit here for me. <laughs> I am not gonna be spamming stay here so I can put passive on somebody. It's so ridiculous. I don't know if I should have ever ulted for distance there. I feel like it gets us probably like nothing compared to running, so I just didn't bother. Well, this guy wants to sprint at the Phoenix so bad, but they've got a decent amount of people up, and we're not grouped. I'm kind of worried he's just about to int. Well, Shock's getting in there. That makes it better. Hades is back, by the way. Maybe it wasn't DC'd that long. Bro, ult ever, man! Oh my, what am I getting? It needs to not get stuck in walls like this. It's actually atrocious. It's actually fucking atrocious, man. Get bored on, bozo. Uh, let me try and not be dead to Hades. I want to get this Phoenix, too, if I can. Nice. Uh oh. It's a good thing he whiffed. Ooh, big wall. Kind of tragic that he uh they basically glitched through it there. I was gonna invis on him, but of course he's just gonna go to base there. Hang on, we might get a little sneaky. Wait, we might get a little sneaky with it. Why am I taking, bro? I didn't hit him. I missed and it still went on me. All right, boys, hit it. We get in there. Oh, I thought that would end. <laughs> sort of did. Teleports right on over. This ability is so weird. I don't know. We kind of cooked, and yet I feel like I also played her so bad at the same time. It's bizarre, man. What a weird-ass character. But but I will say, one thing that I do like about her, because we didn't even go Gem of Focus this game, and realistically, my build was kind of troll. We shouldn't have actually gone the Bore item. We shouldn't have actually gone Helm of Darkness. I think Helm of Darkness is genuinely insane on a lot of people, um, but I don't think it's very insane on her. It's more of like a, uh, a really good like CC or one-shot setup ability, and then we have neither of those. I mean, we have CC, but it's way too delayed, so... So probably shouldn't have built that, probably shouldn't have built the boar item, probably would have felt a lot better if we didn't build either. Um, but did get a lot of damage out of just like the movement, man. She's got kind of that a shell movement to her where we're like wiggling around, chucking stuff when we can. And uh, it feels, I don't know, it's kind of fun to play characters like that. But it is triggering me that I don't remember for sure if the two does, but absolutely the, uh... wait, the playtest ends on June 2nd? 
It's been up 25 days. <laughs> oh, so they must have like, was that last play test? Was that on June 2nd? They must have a crazy outdated little thing up in here. Um, but yeah, the ult getting stuck in walls so you can't cast it. It's a giant ult. So like that feels so bad. The, the fight around Phoenix towards the end there, like I can't see it exactly, but I'm assuming there's genuinely a small window where it where it lets me ult through that wall. And it's very easy to get stuck on either the wall closest to me or the wall farther towards their Titan room. And that's so obnoxious. That needs to not be a thing. But other than that, she's feeling kind of fun. Like if they can do a little bit of quality of life type stuff, obviously the portal cannot go in a wall, but the portal's tiny. The portal doesn't need to like, it's okay if that can get like collide with walls. Um, but the whole AOE is way bigger than that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.